Hey guys, what's up? Uh, finally making a video of my uh, latest project, um, Cosmic Platformer. I have uh, taken my uh, taken my idea to C Sharp and XNA, and just really quickly, I love C Sharp. I love XNA. Uh, it is amazing, a wonderful environment to program in. Uh, C plus plus was kind of a nightmare. Kind of glad I don't have to deal with it anymore. Uh, I'm going to go back to learning it eventually, but for now, I'm going to stick with. Um, with C sharp so uh, I just want to show you guys my game so far um, here is a look at my project sprites some of my objects divided all these things into objects okay that's my project change the resolution to 1024 times 768 for now let's get started uh, so yeah uh, this game is completely object oriented uh, the last C++ game I made wasn't, because uh, C++ was a little bit of a nightmare for me. Um, I still love it deep inside my heart, but I'm glad I don't have to deal with it anymore. Um, so this is completely object-oriented. Everything from bullets to blood splatters, each thing is an object. And for me, it's a big thing because I, um, I guess I wasn't completely object-oriented in my previous uh, projects. So um, so yeah, this is uh, this is a big step for me. Let's get started here. Uh, that, was, that was my startup screen. This is my GUI screen or menu screen. Nothing special. I got a, a lot of work to do on it. Uh, I just made these cheesy graphics for now. Uh, let me go ahead and start the game. That's this is the mouse I'm using, by the way. So this is my guy right here. As you can see, um, he's not animated yet. The only thing that is animated is his head and his hands. And hands, I'll show you when I pick up a weapon. So. Um, Here's the cursor which I move. Oh, by the way, I'm using Xbox 360 controller. So the right thumbstick moves the cursor, and the guy basically looks at the cursor. Okay. Uh, left thumbstick moves him up and down to climb up ladders. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to start describing to you guys is the tile system. Uh, tile system is very similar to my old tile system. These are all solid tiles. Okay. All of these. This brick tile that I'm standing on is a breakable tile. Uh, that's new. I will show you guys that in a second. And these are platform tiles. Platform tiles you can go through, but you will always land on top of. These are ladder tiles. These are some other solid tiles. Some more solid tiles down there. This you'll remember from my old game. I just updated it for this one. Uh, the tiles in this one are 64 times 64 as opposed to 32 times 32. So uh, let me show you a breakable brick. Okay, very basic stuff. Brick breaks after a certain amount of life is uh, being destroyed. So those things that are falling down there, they're actually called debris. Uh, it's a new class that I created. Um, it's kind of like a particle system, but it's also collidable. These specific uh, pieces of brick don't collide. They just fall right through the level, as you can see. Okay. Um, so that's that for tiles, I think. Uh, the only difference between the ladders on this one and my previous game is you can actually jump off the ladders. And if you notice, the jump height off the ladders is much lower, as it would be in real life, if you, I guess, if you try to jump off a ladder while you're holding it. Um, so that's that. Let's go on to weapons. It's what I've worked on the most, actually, in this game. Uh, four types of weapons that I'm planning uh, projectile based instant shot and uh, in, uh, projectile instant shot slash weapons and poke weapons so I've only got projectile instant shot and slash right now so this is a projectile based weapon okay each bullets an object so is the gun gun right now is attached to the player drop a gun with B pick up a gun with Y Y picks up the next weapon as well this is an AK-47. More rapid fire, but still shooting bullets. Okay. Based on where the cursor is. Um, then I've, I've also created a grenade. Uh, grenade isn't really customized well. It's pretty much just a copy of a rocket projectile, as you can see. And I'll show you the rocket projectile too in a second. Uh, yeah, I haven't worked on the grenades much, but give me some time and I'll get those up to speed. Uh, this is the rocket launcher. It fires a different type of projectile, a rocket. 
And that red thing you see there is, is a new class I created called a damage area. It basically creates a, a rectangle, which is the red thing you see, and whatever is in that radius gets damaged. Uh, I've, I've basically made it owner-based right now, so if the player fires the rocket, uh, he is the owner of that rocket, and he is the owner of that damage area, and if he's the owner of that damage area, he won't get hurt by it, the enemies will get hurt by it. Uh, and um, But I'm obviously going to make it so that, you know, your splash damage hurts, your splash damage hurts you too. But in the case of um, other weapons, you'll want your damage area to only hurt you, uh, only hurt the enemies and not you. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll explain that in a second. This is my uh, final projectile-based weapon. It fires pellets. These are not bullets that are coming out. So best at close range, kind of spreads out over long range. Um, so yeah, it's, this is the shotgun sprite I actually edited from a sprite I got off the internet. I, co I almost completely changed it. The barrel, uh, the handle, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's the projectile-based weapons. Here is... Um, sorry I'm rushing here. I'm trying to get as much as I can into 10 minutes before I have to stop and make a new video. Here's a beam rifle from Halo. As you know, in Halo, it's an instant shot weapon, right? So here we go. See, there's no delay at all. <clears throat> as soon as you fire it, it hits. Uh, cool thing about uh, project uh, instant shot based weapons is they create a shot class. A shot is basically, it contains an ending sprite right here. So it's like a shrapnel effect and a trail that fades off over time. And you might not see it, but it creates a small damage area right in the pinpoint of where it's hitting. So right there, it's creating a little damage area. So whatever's in that area when it gets hit uh, is applied damage to. I think it's 30 damage or something for the beam rifle. So that's an instant shot weapon. I plan to make a, maybe a sniper rifle or something, you know, to complement the beam rifle. Third type of weapon is a slash class. Have a look at that slashes in the direction. Uh, the red thing is obviously a damage area. And now this is where ownership is important. This damage area is always going to be hitting me, but I don't want it to hurt me. I only want it to hurt um, the enemies. So if I'm the owner of this damage area, it's only going to affect enemies. And if the enemies own the damage area, it's only going to affect me. Now, I've also made the damage areas universal. If the damage, if the damage area is universal, it affects all objects. I haven't implemented that yet and that's what I'll be using for the rocket launcher. So this splash damage right here should be universal. It should hurt me as much as it hurts the enemies, obviously. And here we go. Uh, uh, energy sword, of course, for Halo fans. Slash class and a lightsaber. Okay, so those are my three slash weapons. So I think I've showed you all my weapons so far. Let me just check how much time I have here. Got a little bit more time. Uh, level objects. I have two level objects right now. I think I've already got the gems. Let me just show you those really quickly. The gems and the jump pad make a comeback from my last game. Uh, the gems honestly don't really do much right now. They're just kind of there. Um, they're animated right now, uh, which is a new thing that I've made in this game, uh, animated sprite. There's six sprites, uh, or five, looping, which gives them the effect of shining and changing color. Uh, gems don't do anything, they're just collectible. Uh, they're actual objects this time, they're not tiles. In my last game, I had to bind them to a tile, so each gem was a tile. It's not like that anymore, they're individual objects that can be placed anywhere in the level. And also jump pads are customizable in terms of their strength. See, this jump pad only gets you a certain height, okay? But this one gets you even higher, so they're fully customizable. Uh, and I will show you my level file really quickly right here. As you can see, uh, these are my... Um, this is my first layer, background layer, which I haven't done anything with yet. Second layer, which is the solid layer, which is what's important. And the third layer is the, f uh, the front layer, so whatever you want to appear in front of the player. And these are my items. As you can see, this is the jump pad. One is obviously uh, not as strong, and the other one is stronger. And see, each object can be placed within the level 
in this fashion. Very simple, very basic, very straightforward, very customizable.